Kerning is the term used to describe the space between letters. Even in print, different letters have different kerning settings. Two I's are usually spaced further apart than two O's. This is particularly important in embroidery. If two I's are too close together, they will look like a single, very wide letter. While two O's can be closer, as they only meet for a couple of stitches at the widest part of each letter. The process of kerning letters is easy. The pain is that, that you have to do it every time. Well, actually you don't. You only need to do it once. If you teach the software your preferred kerning values. Let me show you how. First, let's look at the process of kerning. I will use the letters A, V, A, W to demonstrate as they have a particularly wide space. Use the shape tool, shortcut letter H. Now, with the master nodes showing, the letters can be dragged along the baseline. Left clicking on a node and holding and dragging the letter into a place fixes the first space. If we right click on a master node, notice it and all the nodes to the right turn blue, indicating they are selected. Now you can drag a group of letters. Once all kerning is done to your satisfaction, select all the nodes by dragging around them. See them turn blue? Now go to the object menu and select update kerning settings. You will be presented with a warning, just OK. To test, copy the letters from the input box, open a new work area and paste the letters. You can see the new kerning values have been applied to the font. If you do not want to use the letters kerned, move down to the properties box and uncheck auto kerning. This process only affects the font that you are working on and will have to be done each time you see the problem in each font as you are using them. But once completed, you should be able to reduce your time kerning lettering dramatically. These alterations are made to the ES file in your Wilcom system. It is crucial to back up those files just in the event that you reload the software or wish to share the kerned fonts with another system in your workplace. Your fonts are stored in these folders. C drive, program files times 86, Wilcom folder, embroidery studio E4.0 folder, W letter, or in a similar position but the user letter subfolder. My recommendation is to back them up on a regular basis. You may not make changes to the ESA files each week, but getting into the habit of backing these folders may save some heartache in the future. Simply to copy the file and paste it to the desktop or your cloud storage. It's easily done. I hope this has helped. If you've got any questions, please post them in the forum. Thank you.